now we have a fully functional smeltery, which is awesome. The only problem is we still need some lava, so let's work on that. He's still here. No more experience. So, what I like to do is, um, there's something called a portable tank, which is quite handy, in my opinion. And it's quite cheap as well, so it's just a few glass around a copper in it. And there's a hardened version, which essentially is invar around that. And you make invar by mixing up nickel and iron, or Ferrer's iron uh, with that whole thing. So iron dust and polarized uh, Ferrer's metal. So if we actually need to upgrade this, we can, but for now this is probably gonna be enough. Those things can actually carry quite a bit. Eight buckets worth, so we need one copper. Put that in the middle. We have enough glass. That was not the... Wow, I'm, I'm awful at crafting today. So we have a portable tank, but the only problem now is if I want to break this, it actually will lose content. So, the next thing we need is... Um, stone. Uh, I got some compressed cobblestone over here because I can't be bothered to um, hold all of that. So we need one smooth stone and we need three iron ingots as far as I remember. Like this. And that'll actually make us a wrench. So uh, let's put that in here and get a button. And the button is placed here, and that should give us the engineer wrench. So if I place this down, I can uh, switch the mode, and I can wrench it, and it won't lose the content. Which is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so where's my bucket? There's my bucket. I'm gonna go adventure. And all those nice little coal crops actually start growing quite a bit so we're gonna adventure right here and just grab it as uh, quite a bit of uh, lava so let's plunk down our little tank and let's just grab a bunch of lava from here let's put that in that is four buckets five buckets six buckets seven buckets Eight buckets and obviously we can carry that. So let's just do that and we have enough lava. So let's head back and fill up our smeltery. And now I could plunk it down and just like manually dump it all in. But there's no need. I can simply set this mode to output and it's gonna uh, fill this tank with it and um, now I'm just gonna fill this up again and suddenly we have all the lava we need right here um, and in fact we're gonna uh, first thing we're gonna do is put some ground in it and uh, now actually no first thing we need is not grout but Aluminium brass. Now, aluminium brass is used to uh, make castings, for example, for ingots. So, let's make that. Uh, for that, we obviously need aluminium. So, let's grab some of that. And as far as I remember, it also requires some copper. So, let's grab that, if I'm correct. I think I'm correct. Oh, it's aluminum. <clears throat> Is it? Yeah, it's not molten alumin uh, aluminum brass, which is quite a bit of alum uh, aluminum and copper, which makes that. So, 
Let's head over and begin smelting some of that. Um, so I think this needs at least four and to one of those, I believe. All right, almost done. And let's see if we were correct. Yes, molten aluminum brass. And apparently I got one too many aluminum in there, but that's okay. We can certainly live with that. So let's put that here and let's pour out some of that. Let make a casting for ingots, which we will then need to, uh, for example, pull out the rest of the aluminum, and it will make us an ingot. So that's wonderful. That is truly wonderful. And for some reason, it just lagged the hell. Okay. So now that we have the uh, uh, casting. Um, let's put in some grout and we can make some seared bricks and maybe uh, create a second layer on this whole thing, which would be awesome for smelting like bigger amounts and also storing more if we desire so. Um, let's also grab ourselves um, some of the, ooh, whoops, that's not what I wanted, some of the Eulorium, because we're gonna start making a nuclear reactor. And the way you do this is quite simple. Uh, you use big reactors to make, you need a fuel rod, you need quite a bit of reactor casing, we need a reactor controller, a reactor control rod um, and I actually let's look at big reactors and there's also a reactor power tab which we need so all of that is actually pretty straightforward you need quite a bit of the resources but as soon as you have that, you have quite a bit of power to use. And you can extend the reactor itself, which is good. So we're going to make one of the smaller reactors, which is a um, uh, three by three by three reactor with just one uh, fuel rod in the middle. So what we're going to need is we're going to need a base of three by three of those um, reactor casings so we need a base of it we also need a ring on top and each of the sides need at, needs at least one and that whole thing makes four so we're gonna create that and reactor controller let's actually make reactor controller reactor power tab um, we also need a reactor access port, which is where you put the fuel in. And um, control rod. And obviously the, the fuel rod as well. So let's make that. Let's actually make the fuel rod first. We need some iron. What else do we need? Yeah, I just accidentally almost cheat. I hope I didn't. No. Nothing. Good. Um, okay, so we need some graphite, some eulorium, some iron, and two graphite bars. I should have, yeah, I have graphite over here. I got plenty of iron over here. So let's make not this, but that. 
God, I'm awful. So we got one of the few rods. So now let's cr also create, um, let's see, we need a control rod, which is four reactor casings, three graphite bars, redstone, and yellorium. And you make those with iron ingots, graphite, and yellorium. So, if I still would remember this, I actually could just do this. Whoop. Alright. So, let's also get some redstone. And craft ourselves a control rod. Sweet. So we got, um, let's actually sort this somewhat. Uh, let's sort it like that. And let's just clear the side out. Um, so the next thing, let's make a reactor controller, which also needs reactor casings. So let's create a few reactor casings. We also will need a diamond, which is in here. Let's actually grab two. Um, and redstone, we should not have redstone, damn it. Let's grab redstone. And let's create a reactor controller. There we go. So we got the controller, we need um, an access port, which needs, uh, which needs a chest and a piston. Um, which both require some wood. So let's, I'm really lazy today. I'm just gonna do this. Um, and actually, I need some gold. Um, wait, no, not gold, iron. Do I? Uh, do I have cobblestone? Yeah, I have cobblestone. So, in theory, I should be able to do simply that, 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 and that. That gives me a piston. And let's also create again for both those. I mean, I could have created some more. Um, so, we have the ex access port. And last thing we need is the reactor power tab which is simply reactor casing with redstone so let's grab one of those redstone blocks and break those up and once again create one of these and don't do that uh, but instead make that all right so now we have all the core elements of the reactor now we only need some casing and let's make, actually let's make all of that, that probably isn't enough, um, but it'll, let's throw that away for a second, um, it'll help uh, later on anyways because also Okay, no sound with that whole thing. Um, let's get over here and actually start building the whole thing. So, uh, first off, let's place ourselves. I'm gonna build this mostly in this corner and like place it against the wall over here. So I can have like the Actually, do I want this? Yeah, um, I'm gonna build this like so. And now we, I want the power tap to be over here. I want it to be here. And the control rod needs to be on top. So let's plonk this over here. And the control rod needs to be on top of it. Um, well, it's actually already does things. Um, next thing is the reactor 
controller, which I think I'm gonna put here. And then we also have the access port. So this over here. And now let's fill up the rest. So we have destroy this torch. No, I don't want to access that right now. And no. <laughs> All right, we are literally missing two of those uh, pieces. All right, guys. So we went from literally coal producing, nothing being able to work things to a working nuclear reactor within a few minutes. That is pretty damn awesome.